Can we go back pick it back? find the front office. Is someone paranoid about their lines? No, I'm just trying to analyze the plot. I understand introducing a character so that the audience can establish a connection, but does it really need that much context? Um, yeah. If anything, I think it's a bit long, but it could be worse. It could begin with one of us getting axed in the opening scene in some tragic or gross way. <laughs> that would definitely be Shaylin's character. Watch out, Melody. Sometimes they take out the most talented performer first to add more weight to the conflict indicating that any character is disposable. In that case, Shaylin could be first. You never know. In your dreams. <laughs> Alright guys, don't go too far. I'll be right back. Hello Steven, this is Patty from Drexel Community College. We spoke the other day about the possibility of renting your theater this afternoon for our rehearsal. We're a little ahead of schedule. We just got into town. Wanted to make sure it's still a possibility. I have some of my cast members with us, but we're not entirely sure that this is the correct building. I guess just give this number a call back and we'll just kind of hang out here for a little bit. Thanks. Ugh, yeah, it's awful. <laughs> Hello, Kyle? thing down and flush your ass again if you don't open up, fairy boy. What? Oh, the smell's getting worse. We should go back, you guys. I, I think I'm about to puke. Wait. Everyone! 
Everyone stay calm. Those people are dead, guys. What? Kyle's right. We need, to, we need to calm down and think. We need to call the police. There's someone in the bathroom that's after me. Wait, what? I... What the hell is that? Fairy boy James! Can't run from me, princess! Mommy? Is that you? Mikey, it can't, it can't be. It's me. Please don't ever leave me again. Is this your teacher? Why is she trying to touch me? Do something, you worthless little crap! Mom? Mother is not finished with you! I'm gonna stop your soul, James! You abandoned me once before. It's time you're punished! Run! that clown want from us? Did you see what he did to Patty? And I haven't even been called Fairy Boy James since middle school. Why did he attack her? Why would a clown tease you in middle school? What clown? You guys didn't just see my mother kill Patty? Shaylin, what did you see? I saw some kind of little white bald creature the entire time. Wait, I, I did see that for a moment after you stood up to it. Did anybody else notice that too? Yeah, the, the clown kind of flickered and I think I saw what she's talking about. Melody, what did you see? Same, but I saw something from out of a horror movie or something. I. I can't handle this, you guys. Uh, what the hell is going on? Are we all seeing something different? I, I think so. All of us except Shaylin. Shaylin, does that thing scare you? Scared? No. What if it's manifesting into what we fear? But Shaylin can see its true form because she's not afraid of it. Why her? She perceives things differently from us. Don't you, Shaylin? Being on the spectrum is something I've embraced since childhood. And I do interpret things differently than you, yes. Is that why you always have your headphones on? 
kind of. Sometimes I have trouble with louder, high-pitched tones. It's a sensory thing. And because she's not afraid of it, she may be the key. Great. So, what do we do now? We need to find a phone or a car. Patty's keys. She had them, but she fell and dropped them back there. Hell no. I'm not going back out there. Who knows even where that happened? Does anybody know where we are in this place? The keys are 162 steps away. 17 steps east, take a right, then 22 steps west. Left 39 steps, past the library building, uh, 34 more steps north, past the cafe, and 50 more steps to the keys. 162 steps total. Are you sure about that, Shaylin? What? <laughs> that explains why you remember your line so clearly, but are we really going to take her word for it? Shaylin, can you take us there? Yes. Just let me put these on to focus. Everybody take off your jackets. You're so smart, don't you? If you were so smart, you would have figured out a way to take care of me and not suffer to death. I was nine years old. Don't listen to it. Excuses, excuses. You want me to teach you a lesson like I used to? You're not going to touch me. Oh. 
consume this. Well, what do we do now? It's not like anyone's gonna believe us. I guess it's a blessing you came on this trip with us, Jalen. You're a goddess, girl. <laughs> I guess we find the cops or a payphone or something. Sounds like a plan. We have to prevent people from coming here ASAP. Freaking CGCC. Housing demons and shit. What the hell is that about? <laughs>